up everybody welcome back to the channel today we go beyond routine and we are doing halloween treat bags oh, i am so excited halloween is my favorite season it's my it's not even season it's a lifestyle it's my favorite holiday i love it so much as you can see i bought just a few items it's not like i was on a budget or supposed to be in a budget <laughs> on a budget um that went through the roof but um that fact aside i'm very very excited first we are going to go over everything i purchased by category and then I'm going to explain how I usually make my treat bags, what goes inside each one of them. I'm also going to make bigger ones this year. I have a great plan for Halloween this year. I've been very inspired. Also, you'll probably going to see throughout this video that I have a little Mr. Skeleton with me. I bought this at Bat and Body Works this year. Um, this is Oscar Bernard. He is, in case you don't know, my Halloween mascot. He's been with me since I was a little kid. He used to be inflated <laughs> back in the day. I do have a picture. I'll try to insert it somewhere. Um, but, you know, uh, because of the material he was made of at the time, it wasn't really something I could keep over the years. So this time I brought him in his mini form. He also glows in the dark. You can't see that right now. But we love a versatile king. Um, so it's going to be with me. We love being in the Halloween spirit. Let's go. First and foremost, we have the everything that is uh, that is going to contain the the treats. So we have buckets. We have um, little treat bags, plastic treat bags. We have many many designs which makes me super happy i think i have about 200 which i think is going to be more than enough um so these are i love the little ghosties oh my god so cute okay then we have slightly bigger ones i bought these as well They're super cute Everything is from Dollarama. This video is not sponsored by them, but it's just my favorite place to buy loads of stuff at a decent price. And the trick is you always need to go to these stores like in September, even early December, uh, not December, excuse me, of September. Um, they do get their stuff in the middle of July. So don't be afraid. If you want to have options, go there early. So that's it for the treat bags. They're here. Next item. Oops. We head over to this side uh, because I realized that a few items were misplaced and were in the wrong bags. So I brought all of them here. The next category is anything that is non-eatable. <laughs> so toys, knickknacks, anything that is kind of fun for kids to find in treat bags. Um, I usually put only one of them in each because it can be kind of expensive in the end. Um, most of them I bought uh, at Spirit Halloween or at Dollarama. Usually how I select them is basically based on how the kids can enjoy these within a very short period of time because you transition over to Christmas so fast I think that kids are not necessarily interested in playing with Halloween themed toys as long as I would like, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so I try to select things that can be enjoyed over maybe a week after Halloween. Okay, first item. I will cut each one individually, but you have like cute Halloween stickers. They're all the same. And then, oh, this is so fun. This is a glow stick flashlight, but you can also, it's like a whistler, a whistle, whistler? How, how do you call that? Anyway, um, it's going to be super obnoxious, but you know, on Halloween night, this is really fun. I bought a few of these in different colors. Next, oh, these little eyeballs, like uh, egg eyeballs. 
These are full of candy, but I'm going to empty them. And each one will contain a uh, loony or like $1 or $2. Um, it's going to be, I think, very fun and out of the box for Halloween. Oh, the next item is something I love putting in treat bags, little glow sticks. Th these are so fun on Halloween night. The next item are Pez dispensers. They're so cute, like a little coasty. Like even if you bring this to school, even two weeks after Halloween, it's, it's still Pez, like it's candy, it's super nice. Next, I have uh, these. This is, uh, how do you call this in English? Like, it's dough set? Like, what's the name of it? Um, I, I forget the name of it in English. But yeah, these aren't Halloween themed, but the colors are very Halloween-y. For younger kids, it's super fun. So I always buy a pack of these every year. Next thing we have, oh, these are, they're so cute. Like, little Halloween plushies, they're so cute. Like, even, like, even after Halloween, they're so cute. You want to keep them and hug them and, oh, they're so cute. Oh, I love them. Have little Mr. Dracula here, also super cute. Next up is... I love these <laughs> little crackers. Uh, they're so fun. It's usually for Christmas, but oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw these. They had like so, only had a few at the store, so I bought two, but they're so fun. Next thing is <laughs> the clapping hands. Again, super obnoxious. I apologize to parents. Like this is <laughs> Is so stupid but oh my gosh they're so exciting um i have a few of these so they're, they're super fun to play with well i said that i wasn't going to buy any crayons uh i guess i was too excited to think and i still bought a few <laughs> a few of them uh but they're a pack of like little um notepads and crayons um and stickers uh, along with this, <laughs> the erasers, oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I just think I bought them because they were too cute. And they're easily, they can be put easily in treat bags. Oh, next thing, an object of my childhood. These are so nice. Oh, again, you can play with those even though Halloween is over. Same for these. They're super nice with the ball. And yeah, that's pretty much it. These are additional uh, containers that I use for decoration or to put more candies. Last two categories going to go super fast. We have chocolate bars and this is, these are candies. So, uh, and we have bigger chocolate bars here. So let's start with this one. So let's start with chocolate bars. I do like to have a very, very large selection. So I bought, um, these are lollipops, chocolate lollipops. We have bigger I think these are hollow, I'm not sure, uh, but they're super cute. I have these Mars. I have a pack of Nestle. This, oh my gosh, look at this. When I saw this, <laughs> they're so cute. It's like a little Dracula and a mummy. I love these. Um, I think Nestle come, they come up every year with um, their their, their usual chocolate bars, but they're themed. My favorite is the coffee crisp. They transform into uh, coffin crisps, <laughs> which I really like a lot. 
So I have this. This is Laura Secord um, chocolate bars. I like these because they are gluten-free and peanut-free. Ideal for uh, children who have allergies or food intolerances. Um, Skittles. Slightly interrupting because my friend told me the other day something that I was absolutely flabbergasted by. Skittles. Skittles, apparently, like each and every color tastes the same thing. Like in my head, they taste absolutely different. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, but there's no way they taste the same. Absolutely no way. Let me know down in the comments if it's real, if you always thought they, they taste the same, but like no way. Even today, I'm like, no, 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 impossible. <laughs> it's just, this is destroying, like, everything I've ever known. Like, you cannot tell me things like this. This is not possible. The trauma <laughs> rent over. Let's move on to the next item. These are super nostalgic for me. I, it's always part of my treat bags every year because I used to find these in my bags when I was a little kid and... They don't necessarily taste super good, but I, I don't know. It's it's really nostalgic item. And then uh, these, I think they, these are, oh, these are candies. I'm like, they have a few chocolate bars in there, but um, it's it's nice item to transition to the candies. All right. Popping candy. I found this the other day at uh, the, the drugstore. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so I had to pick these up. I have a few of the Jelly Belly Monster Packs. They're super, super nice. I hope the flavors are not too disgusting. Um, I, I didn't realize I might have picked up... Uh, no, they're fine. Okay, I have big rockets here. Obviously, we have... Um, these are lollipop sour ones. Rings. Regular ones. Oh, they had bubble gum inside. Nice. We obviously had to purchase the regular lollipops. Again, a very nostalgic item for me. Um... Popeye Sigs, again, very nostalgic. Regular wa Rockets. Ro rockets? Rockets? Yeah, they're called a different thing in the States, uh, but to us, they're Rockets. These are little um, skulls, and they have like powder, candy powder inside. Yeah, it looks like it. that's it. I'm saying this as if, like, I didn't buy a ton.
that is going to be it for today's video thank you so much for sticking around i realized i couldn't finish those because i need to find a way to close them i am so excited to hand these over can't wait to see the kids reaction happy halloween Please tell me down in the comments what you're doing this year. Are you sticking to your traditions? Are you doing something else? Uh, I would love to hear all of that. Also, please subscribe and like this video. This is going to help this channel a lot. And see you in the next one.